friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. And today, I just want to talk about Sorry. So I live in Florida. We have a hurricane coming. Now on my side of the state, we're really only getting like theater bands, but it's still pretty windy. And I just saw something like blow past my window. So sorry for the distraction. And um, I know other parts of the state are, you know, getting hit pretty hard. So, you know, keep them in your, in your prayers for sure. But um, so anyways, what I wanted to talk about today is epoxy because I keep getting so many questions about why I don't do epoxy anymore. And then, um, you know, and I'm getting a lot of questions for people asking about things with epoxy and I don't really do it anymore. Right. So. So the thing is, for me, because of personal life events, I had not really done any for a while or I or I did just a little bit because I had some you know significant life events that happened and so when I stepped away from it I just couldn't really get excited about doing it again now there are a lot of people I shouldn't say a lot of people but there are people who have videos on how like epoxy made them super sick and um, stuff like that. I will tell you, I've never had any problems with epoxy. When I did it, I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed it a lot. You know, I made it a point to always wear an N95 mask. I wore nitrile gloves. So I never had rashes. I never had any sort of respiratory issues, never anything like that. But once I stepped away and came back to it, A, I was really you know, like I had done so much with it already and it's not like it was a business for me, right? So if I was somebody who was, you know, making things to sell, like if I was a Tumblr salesperson, um, you know, or creator, you know, to sell things, that would be probably a whole different story. But because it, it wasn't a livelihood for me, it really was a hobby. So all the things that I do are truly just hobby and for fun and you know and I like to share them because it might be something that uh, you know helps you works for you that you like you might just like to watch people do crafts I do um, so when when I step back into it I couldn't get super excited about it and then there were a few things that I started to recognize so for me it took so long and my time is really fairly limited. However, you know, pretty soon that will hopefully change because I'm done with school in six weeks. Thank God. But, um, you know, my time was fairly limited and, you know, and really it took such a long time. And, you know, I don't have like all day to wait for a process and that, you know, it was always that I would have to come back to it. So I never, like I didn't get a finished pro project in a timely manner. And so sometimes I would just even forget about, I have so many half done projects because something would happen and I couldn't get back to it for a week, you know? And, and it's expensive. It's an expensive hobby if you're not selling stuff and to just waste stuff because you're not getting back to it, right? And then the other thing is like, you know, I made cups for everybody I wanted to make cups for. I did, like I did the things that I wanted to do with it and then it got to where it's just doing it to do it, right? So not quite as fun. Um, again, epoxy is also expensive. Now, if you are, that's why like the epoxy cups, I mean, they cost a pretty penny to buy them because it's a lot of work and it's expensive. It's fun when you enjoy doing it, but you know, it is expensive. So, you know, um, it's understandable when people, you know, charge certain amounts of money for the projects that they do. And now if I were doing if I were doing like a bunch of cups, so say I was doing, 
you know, a bunch of this or a bunch of that because I was selling it, it probably wouldn't feel like it took so long because, you know, the process for three isn't a whole lot more than the process for one, but the process for one is as much as the process for three, if that makes sense. And so I just, the time. And then I started realizing how messy it is. I mean, although you can see I've got a mess even just doing UV, you know, but for me, the UV is, um, it's just something I enjoy doing right now. It's less expensive, it's not as time consuming, and it's not as messy. So with the epoxy, I mean, like, I have places in my home that I should not have epoxy that I have epoxy. And that's just, you know, just the way it is. So it is definitely messy. And not that I, so, you know, I always put my epoxy in the rubbish, you know, but when you're washing things out, like you might've pulled your epoxy out, right? There's always like little pieces of epoxy on stuff. You're cleaning stuff off, you've got epoxy in the rack. Like epoxy, like little pieces of epoxy get everywhere, like shards of glass. And I would put a, you know, I always cleaned it in the garage and I would put a little filter over my drain, but then I also started like getting worried about, you know, the little pieces of epoxy. Could something like get caught in there and then it gets hot in there? And is it gonna like eventually do something like to my drain? So that kind of stuff started to, you know, started to just make me a little bit concerned. And again, if, if I were doing projects that I got paid for, I would figure something out for it. But the stuff that I did with epoxy just wasn't enough to figure out all of those pieces anymore. And, and let me tell you, if you're looking to get into epoxy, like I truly enjoyed it. I did it for years, years and years and years. I truly enjoyed it. It did not make me sick. I did not get a rash. Now, I was very careful of, you know, wearing my mask, wearing my gloves. But even then, like, I've had to get my hair cut because I got epoxy in my hair. You know, I had my carpet redone, but I had epoxy in my carpet. I've got epoxy on my porch. Epoxy in my garage. Like, I mean, I even have a doorknob with epoxy on it. Like, it is, it's a little bit messy, but it, it truly was fun and I enjoyed doing it and I would never discourage anybody from doing it because it is, it is enjoyable. Just know, you know, the projects take a little bit, a little bit of time, you know, it can get quite expensive and it can be messy and you know, you do need to use your safety equipment. But honestly, that's the only reason why I started doing, stopped doing epoxy. And I'm not saying that I'll never do an epoxy project again. Something might come up where I'm like, oh, I need epoxy for that. And I do it, no big deal. Um, as, as far as all of my stuff goes, I know that I had, you know, talked about doing a, a giveaway for them. But honestly, once I get to a place where I can get everything pulled out together, um, I have a friend, friend that I met from YouTube. We became friends when I first started doing, when I first started doing um, the crafting channel. And she loves epoxy and I have all this stuff. So honestly, I'm gonna just, I've decided I'll just gather it all up and I will take it to her. She lives a few hours away from me. And once I'm done with school, I'll just pile it all up and I'll drive it to her. And then once I start going through stuff, you know, I have like sublimation stuff I'm gonna give to people. Like things that I don't use anymore, I'm definitely, um, I'm definitely just gonna start clearing stuff, some stuff out. I've got tons of stuff and I really wanna use the things that I have. Um, I got this new laser, I want to use that. So honestly, that's, that's it. That's 
all there is. I still try and get on and answer epoxy questions, but honestly, some of it because I haven't I haven't really done it in probably close to a year. Some of it I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't even remember the answer to it anymore. So, um, yeah, sometimes I don't know. Sometimes I'm, you know, feel like there's just somebody better out there to answer the question for you because I'm not doing it right now. So I hope that that helps. I hope that you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And to all my friends in Florida, stay safe and I'll see you guys later. Bye friends.